Hello everyone. Welcome to session 48 of security testing video series. In this session, I'm going to show you how to configure Burp suit as proxy for Internet Explorer browser. So let's get started. First, let's launch Burp suit in my machine. Let's wait for this Burp suit to launch. Once the Burp suit is launched like this, click on the next button and start Burp button. Now let's wait for the Burp suit to start in my machine. Once the Burp suit is started in my machine, close this and select proxy tab. And under the proxy tab, make sure that this intercept option is turned on. Next, let's open the Internet Explorer browser. In my machine, I'm opening the IE browser. So now guys, now at present, this burp suit is not configured as proxy for this IE browser yet, right? We have not configured burp suit as proxy for this IE browser yet. That means even though this intercept option is turned on in burp suit, this request from this browser will not be intercepted by this burp suit. This burp suit need to be configured as proxy for this IE browser. Then only the request from this browser will be intercepted that is stopped by this burp suit. Let me show you that. If I browse for demo.testfire.net, you see we are able to directly access this page. That means the request is directly going from this browser to the server and server is giving the response. And based on the response, this page is appearing here. Burp suit is not stopping the request from going to the server, right? Because burp suit is not yet configured as proxy for this IE browser. Now let's configure burp suit as proxy for this IE browser. For that, let's right click on this IE browser and select menu bar. You will get this tools option. Select this tools guys and select the internet options. You'll get this internet options dialog. Now select the connections. Now select LAN settings. Once you get this LAN settings, select use a proxy server for your LAN. This checkbox, select it. If this address is not yet entered, just enter this address as 127.0.0.1 guys. And port number, you can give any random port number. Instead of giving 8080 that uh, the default port for many softwares, right? Rather than using that, use some different port number like 80. 84, 85, anything guys. I'm using 8084 in this session. And also make sure that this checkbox is selected. Bypass proxy server for local address, checkbox is selected and select OK. Now say OK guys. Now after providing the proxy settings in the IE browser, now let's go to the burp suit and go to the options under the proxy tab. Now click on add button. Here, what is the port number that we have? provided in the IE browser 8084, right? Just give the same port number that you have given for configuring the proxy in the IE browser. Now select this specific address 127.0.0.1, whatever the address we gave in the IE browser, the same address guys, click on OK. Now go to the intercept and make sure this intercept option is on. Now go to this page. Now freshly browse demo dot testfile.net. You see the moment I pressed enter after entering the URL, the moment I pressed enter, you see the application is still loading. It has not taken us to the page guys. You see it's waiting for demo.testfile.net. What happened here is we have configured burp suit as a proxy for this IE browser. Whatever the requests that go from this browser to the server, they will be intercepted by this burp suit. That means they will be stopped by this burp suit. Until we say forward here, this request will not be forwarded to the server of this application. Now let me click on the forward button. You see, now we got the response from the server. The request has been sent to the server and in return we got the response and this page got displayed. Now again, if I click on the sign in button, you see it's not taking us to the sign in page. It's waiting guys, because this request from this browser is intercepted by this burp suit here. The moment you say forward here, again, it will take you to the sign in page the request will be forwarded to the server server will process and you'll get the response here and you'll be taken to the sign in page so hope guys you understood how to configure burp suit as proxy for 
Internet Explorer browser. But before I wind up this session, guys, let me clear out the stuff. So these settings, whatever we provided for configuring the IE for proxying, right? So I have to remove them. Again, I will go to the same connections, click on the LAN settings, and I will uncheck this and say OK. Say OK. That's it. And again, go to the verb suit, go to the options under the proxy, and you can either delete this guys by removing or you can uncheck it. Anything is fine. Okay, just clear out the options, guys. We'll only use this proxy settings when required, guys. Okay, we'll not be using verb suit for proxying every time on this IE browser, right? Whenever we need to use verb suit as a proxy for this IE browser, then only turn them on. Otherwise, turn it off, guys. So that's it, guys. Thank you. Bye.